What's up everyone, Sebastian here with Press Start Seb. So far, we've seen a myriad of jutsu options for Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker, each with their own unique abilities. For example, Kasama can limit the use of ninjutsu a character can use, while Sakura can heal her teammates or negate any status effects. But thus far, we've yet to see any type of genjutsu ability in the game, so what I wanted to discuss today is if I think genjutsu will be in Shinobi Striker, and if it is, how it could be implemented. In Shinobi Striker, each of the jutsus that you learn come from a mentor character. And as such, whatever genjutsu that might exist will have to be tied to a pre-existing canon character, obviously. So, in this case, that will obviously be Itachi, as he's seen consistently mind-fucking characters throughout Naruto, and conveniently enough, still has a vacant ninjutsu slot. We know Itachi so far will have Amaterasu as a ninjutsu and his Susano as an ultimate ability. So that leaves a sweet little nugget of hope that a genjutsu can slide right on in there to round out Itachi's arsenal. As a ranged character, it will allow him to inflict particular status ailments on the enemy by only having to be within eye shot. So what will this supposed genjutsu ability be? Well, I'm not holding up for any crucifixion tortures but rather a way to unravel the enemy's teams by inflicting status effects. The most obvious one is that once an enemy has been hit with Itachi's Genjutsu, their controller will get all fucky and the buttons will all uh, kind of change what they do. This has to be randomized every time as an experienced player can simply memorize a new pattern and be back in the action quickly. To me, this kind of seems like a cop-out, um, but it does kind of make sense in the nature of the game. What I'm proposing, however, would be an actual mindfuck that would honor the Genjutsu master Itachi himself. What the Genjutsu ability could do is enable friendly fire for any ninjutsu you cast. Gonna throw it a fireball jutsu? Well, be prepared to light the fuck out of your buddy. In addition, the game can scramble the gamer tags that are displayed on the, hand, on the heads of your teammates and the enemy. This way, you truly don't know who's friend and who's foe. In a game so heavily focused on teamwork and coordination, this genjutsu ability will do exactly what it's designed for. To get into the mind of the enemies and have them unravel, not knowing what's real, what's not, who's on their team, and who isn't. It will force them to carefully select who they attack, or if they attack at all. This could obviously run on a timer, and when the timer is done, the player can continue to rain down Chibaku Tenseis on the field without a care in the world. Another important thing to consider is having different effects for characters who are notorious for being able to undo a genjutsu that's cast on them, or I guess kind of being invulnerable to the attack. For example, if Sakura, who's known for being able to undo genjutsu, uh, is placed under a genjutsu, she may have a brief window for a quick time event that will let her break free of the genjutsu and continue on in the battle, or a particular... Um, ability or status ailment that she can negate the genjutsu abilities for her and for her teammates. Alternatively, Sasuke can maybe withstand a genjutsu from Itachi and be invulnerable to its effects. This will force the genjutsu user to, have, to differentiate between who they cast it on, why they cast it on it, and if it's better to maybe target another player. This adds a huge amount of depth and layers to the mechanic instead of just spamming it consistently and knowing you're going to really fuck up the other team if there are some characters that can be placed to counteract Itachi's Genjutsu ability into your team it'll go a long way in um, layering the dynamic. What do you guys think of this addition? Does it make sense in the overall design theme of Shinobi Striker? And if not, how would you implement Genjutsu into this game? I feel like it should be included in the game to some capacity as it does both in terms of fitting well within the canon of the ability and the gameplay mechanics that already exist. But hey, maybe I'm talking shit and Itachi's last ninjutsu ability is gonna be like, you're just gonna like turn into a giant crow and lay bombs all day. But I doubt it. Um, but thank you for watching guys and as always, I will see ya.